how did you come up with this idea? Where did the, where did Mount originate from? The Mount origin story is one that has taken many twists and turns. Um, I started Mount as a 12 year old. So I was, I want to say like fifth grade. Um, mm -hmm. And my school had an invention competition and I decided to enter it. And Mount actually used to be called Mount Locks and it was a bike lock company. And so mm -hmm. in that 12, uh, when I was 12 in fifth grade, I built a bike lock that was built into the bike retracting cable. It was pretty cool and ended up winning that competition. They gave me money to, to pursue a patent. And so I had that under my belt and wanted to kind of become a CEO and change the world. And so okay. kind of Very thought cool. that was how I was going to do it. <laughs> and then, so how do you go from that starting it at a, a young age to where it is now, where it's now a tech platform and an app? Um, how does it grow to be what it is today? Yeah, it was a, an interesting road because as a 12 year old, you know, I had a ton of creativity, but not a lot of business experience, probably none. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's really what I needed. So I spent after I won and got the patent, uh, I ended up, you know, going through high school and stuff and wanted to be a kid before I became a CEO. And so I did. But right when I got to college, I went to Northeastern and I studied entrepreneurship. I started Mount Locks and I started using all of the resources Northeastern has to make that possible taking classes that would help me learn. And we went from bike locks, we ended up becoming a scooter lock company. So Bird and Lime, you know, those scooters that you can just kind of find anywhere. Mm -hmm. When they were baby companies, I had flown to California with the lock in hand and was like, hey guys, I know you're launching scooters everywhere. I think you might need a lock. Like, let's see how we can work together. Yeah. And uh, rode that wave for about a year and a half up until COVID, actually, we were helping consulting on locks and pushing that initiative forward with governments and all that stuff. Um, and then COVID hit and mm -hmm. our business got turned upside down and we had to rethink what we were doing. We were still bootstrapped at that point. I was probably a junior in college, uh, wasn't ready to give up. And so where we went next was the other heavily disrupted industry during COVID, which was travel and mm -hmm. Airbnbs. And it was for the main reason that a lot of people riding scooters, I'd say back then it was about 80, 90% were tourists. You know, they wanted to jump on the scooter mm -hmm. to then have this unique experience around town. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I was like, okay, if it's truly tourists riding scooters, why can't we put them at places they are? Like they don't really need to live just in the city. And so that was the premise. And that's kind of what took us into the Airbnb industry. I, I ended up putting some scooters at Airbnb properties to see what would happen. And then just by listening to the customers, both Airbnb hosts and travelers, we learned that their real need and problem wasn't scooters at Airbnb properties, but from the host perspective, they did need new revenue streams. They wanted to offer hotel-like amenities, compete on that level, mm -hmm. um, but there was just nothing out there that enabled uh, rentable scooters, rentable bikes, golf carts, kayaks, paddle boards, just you name it, the host couldn't do that. And so that's where Mount stepped in we're like, we actually can do that. We can turn anything into a rentable amenity in the shared economy. Um, and then from the traveler perspective, you know, they, because of COVID, because of just changing how you live, how you work, how you travel, it's all blending. We're trying to travel as light as possible. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. the day of five checked bags is no longer. Um, and so we melded both worlds through the shared economy where the traveler wants to travel light. We encourage them to go with just a backpack and then rent everything they need in destination. And then we enable the host to provide these, we call them experiences, um, so that you know both parties involved are having a great time. Yeah, that sounds great.